E- yes, then. How's it all going? I hope you've had a good week. Um, back once again, uh, you guys have been asking for some serum content. Um, so yeah, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get straight into this one uh, in this video. Um, we're going to learn how to do this patch um, that I've got here. Um, it's yeah, it's I'd like just like to start by saying it's not like a this isn't really like a, a full sound design video, it's more of a serum guide just to sh go through what are some some tricks that you might not know in serum, um, some useful things that you can do, um, and yeah, just how things will sound different and just give you the tools to um to just make your own make your own shit man um and yeah so mm, i don't know but just the last bit of, last bit of coffee there there's not much left in there but um uh yeah so coffee is important um also right so let's get a new so in in the in the tune maybe it'll sound something like a So just going for that kind of that kind of vibe, um, but we'll, we'll start from start from fresh from the ground up. Uh, we'll just init preset, which gets a new preset up. You're gonna go to uh, what was it here? Uh, I think yeah, basic MG on that one, and then switch this one on. Then we're gonna go to um, I think Val, and it's this funk one here. So we got that. Uh, switch that bad boy on. Um, uh, this was one of the one of the bend ones on here. Again, mess around with these because th th these are really really handy. Um, uh, you can get a lot of different sounds on those, um, and they do a lot of different things. And you can it's very visual with this synth, as you probably know. Uh, but yeah, th this tutorial is kind of like, it's, I'd say like beginner to intermediate. I'm not, you know, we're not going through doing custom, you know, custom drawings and stuff. I'm just using the basic ones that, that come with Serum so that people that have just bought the synth can make a start on doing on doing something on just having having a little walk through and a little play around. Um, so you got the noise function here, which gives you a bit of noise, which is nice. You got the sub function here, um, which is really important. Uh, I find when you, um, yeah, with, with this, with this stuff, what makes a big difference is when you go to, go to effects or you keep this sub on and like in like a really low thing, you go to effects and, um, you choose the diode one and it just sort of, um, it just gives it, it just distorts it all up and that's what, it's what we want guys. Let's be honest. Um, keep those like that i think i had a i think i had one of these on here as well um i'm just gonna have a little have a little uh have a little nose here what i had here um mm -hmm, a bit like that a bit like two of them da -da -da -da. oh that was up there uh so yeah i must stress this is an old patch of mine um, so I've, um, uh, I've forgotten a lot of, uh, a lot of what I did here and what, you know, what old Gino would do. Um, uh, <laughs> old Gino and new Gino is not, they're not much different actually, I guess. Uh, right. So, and then, so yeah, those are the effects there. Um, uh, let me just talk you through, uh, why we put this one on if you don't know already. This this compressor w with the multi band on it just really really brings out um really brings out the I don't know it's, it's do you know what I mean it's like the and it's that the top it brings the tops and the mids also a little handy tip here um, you can adjust sub zero I was around sub zeros actually and he was doing this I didn't realize you could do this you can drag these by the way guys like you can drag them big up sub zero for doing that while I was in the room and I saw it. Um, yeah, I didn't know I didn't know that you could do that. It's very handy on there. <clears throat> uh, and then we're going to want a little comb, comb filter on here. Combs are great for really messing stuff up. Um, 
uh, a serum's got quite a few combs. I forget which comb it was. Oh, this comb. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. And these are, these are the LFOs here. Um, it's great. You can just draw your own things in there. Make some make some pretty patterns. Um, and you're going to want to drag that on there. Enable it. Make sure you enable both the LFOs to the um, to the filter, and then you get this familiar, familiarly disgusting sound. Um, um, and yeah, what else was there? Let's have a look at this. Uh, yeah, so that was on there like that. This was on here like that. These are just rooting, as you probably know, these are rooting the, you root this shape here to this thing here. That is what you're doing essentially. Um, it sounds a ton different at the moment. So without the, um, without the um, EQ, that's what that one sounds like. Um, uh, what else we got going on here? Uh, we got the. Let me see these. Uh, fill, fill a couple cut, cut off. That's way up there. B warps a bit down there from LFO one. Uh, B W T. Yeah, that's cool. And then A. T that's yeah. That's fine. Um, let me check the f these. Sometimes it just needs a bit of tweaking. Uh, oh, that's shooting the noise as well. Uh, oh, I think it's just. Wait, let me turn it down a bit. Now. What have we got? That's there like that. Oh, yeah, that'd be wild, wouldn't it? Ah. There we go. It's so it's um sounding kind of like uh oh, we got the drive up. Sounding kind of similar to what we got in the first one there. And so um over here we got the you got your LFOs which you've drawn in a little thing. And um, on here, what you can do is if you put it on envelope mode, I believe, yeah. And then you put the, if you right click here and you do set start point, uh, set loop back point here. And then what you've done is you've essentially made a little, made like a loop back, I'm sure. Um, for those of you who've had it a while, you've probably explored this. And so that's just a handy trick uh, for you to just try out. You can, um, and just have a bit of fun with. Uh, Phil from Killer Kilohertz showed me that actually. Big up Phil. I've known him for a long time. Um, and both the lads. Uh, yeah, that was a good, I was around there. It was, I was like, right, what'd you do there? <laughs> I suppose it was only just a YouTuber way to see, but sometimes you just don't, you know, you just, yeah. Um, also, uh, just quickly, little little ad break. Big up Molly for this t-shirt, man. These are um, her uh, collab merch with Concrete Junglist. Big, big things. Thank you for sending this one through. Anyway, back to it. Um, yeah. That's essentially, that's like... <laughs> You know, this, uh, and from here you can kind of just, if you go over to like a, this might be a thing that you, you don't know about. If you um, if you want to get some FM involved, uh, you just go on here onto the the uh, effect. <laughs> And just get some like, just try. 
just try some stuff out, you know, um, and just like. <laughs> Or just um yeah, maybe don't get some FM involved, maybe get some <laughs> maybe get some uh But yeah, I find it's all just I find it's all just about trial and error and just like just messing around for hours on it, you know. Just, um and then if you want it to go down i'm sure um uh, you're probably more than more than aware of this but a little, little trick actually i was around trimmer's house big up trimmer and on Ableton, he was like, oh, yeah, you know, you can just press the thing when you're on automation mode and uh, and it just automatically does the thing here. And I was like, rah, I did not know that. So And that was a while ago that he showed me that. So, yeah, you can do that in Logic as well. You just go on the thing, make sure automation's on, and you click whatever you want. If you want to, if you want to adjust this, if you want to adjust this, if you want to adjust this, the pitch, then you just click it and then um, and you make your adjustments. <laughs> And um and yeah, you can just do stuff like that. Um but yeah, like I hope this has helped. Um please leave some feedback below. Uh I'm I'm sure I'll do plenty more um uh, plenty more um videos like serum videos, but also a lot of sound sound designy videos because this is really just covering one thing. This is just covering serum. There's also a lot of things after serum that I generally do to a sound um to to make it complete and make it so it flows um and kind of glues in together so uh yeah until next time big up i've been gino and um yeah get in touch let me know peace out <laughs>